Hi, Anthony. How are you? Hey, Linda. How are you doing? You all right? Good, good. Um, we we recently saw you in uh, Masters of the Air, and uh, just from there, you jump into another sort of historical drama. Um, how 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 does it feel playing a real person? How does it feel playing a real person? It feels um. Yeah, it, it feels, I, I feel like I've done it a couple of times now in a, in a row that it feels like, um, it's, it feels like uh, kind of a normal thing to be doing. I, I, it's, um, yeah, you feel a bit of responsibility. You feel like uh, you, you kind of got to get it right more so than you would for another project, maybe because there are surviving family members or the people, the person who's real is going to watch it and you feel like you want to get as close to the... Um, as close to the real person as possible. Yeah, I, had, had you known about that that story at all, that history at all? Because I personally find myself sort of reminding myself of like American studies and the history of the killing and the, the independence. Did you did you um, study that in the past, or had was it something you weren't aware of at all? No, I wasn't aware of it at all. I um, I mean, I, I knew it from a, there was an episode of The Simpsons where where Bart is playing John Wilkes Booth and he shoots Milhouse. Um, and I, and that for me was was my in, uh, and then when the rule came through, I, I began to, to to read up on it and research and really got into to finding out all about Booth. I didn't know he was an actor. I didn't know he was one of the most famous actors in America. So learning that was um, was really interesting. Probably famous for the wrong reason, obviously. No, he's um, famous for the wrong reasons. Really? Yes. Yeah. You're right, Linda. Were there any points about him that you were really keen on getting across, like the kind of person he was? Um, I mean, there is a fair bit of delusion there with him as well. Yeah, yeah. I really thought he was an egomaniac. Um, There's a great photo of him where he sort of he sat there and his chest is pumped up and he's sort of staring at the camera. And I love that image of him. This he thinks he's a hundred feet tall, you know. And I and I wanted to get off that that egotistical, that egotistical thing from him. And um, yeah, that that delusion, that, that idea of self grandeur, and and him feeling that you know, e even when the barn's burning, he's turning to David and he's saying nothing's burning, you know, he still feels that he's that he he's going to be king, he's going to be the president of the Confederate States. Um, so I really wanted to get that across. I think there are lots of parallels between like at the current political sort of atmosphere in America and what was going on there. Um, was were you aware of that when you were? in the middle of filming this. Yeah, I mean, we were filming uh, in Savannah, Georgia, and there was Confederate statues that people were protesting every week, trying to get them pulled down. Um, there was mass shootings in America where people were writing sort of racist manifestos online, and, and they it was the same sort of things that Booth was writing about in his letters. So it was a very similar, um, very similar things were happening, depressingly, but yeah. Uh, you, what what would you hope to be playing next? I mean, having gone from one period in history to another. Oh, what I hope to, I don't know. I mean, maybe something where someone has the internet. I'm constantly doing <laughs> period dramas. Maybe playing a character that has access to Deliveroo might be nice. Because um, so far I'm just playing people like, uh, you know, know, from the olden days. Understandable. Yeah, <laughs> I just got so one in faces, I think. Uh, lovely to chat to you, Linda. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey, you guys. <laughs> hey, you guys. Hey, <laughs> that's what they all say. Hey, you guys. Hey, you guys.